Hey, hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. This video is designed to give you the confidence that you are ready for your test covering demand and supply. I'm Brad Cartwright and on this channel you will find over 300 videos covering the entirety of micro, macro, international economics and development economics which means it's ideal for any student studying in the IB, AP, A level or any university curriculum around the world. All right, let's take a look at the review tips for demand and supply. Well, before I get started, let me just say that if you are unclear about any of these review items, check the description box below. I have links to the entire playlist of demand and supply, as well as links to each individual video that will help you out in your preparations for your assessment. All right, let's take a look. What do you need to do? Well, these are your tips for being prepared for your assessment. First of all, you need to be able to define the word market. You need to be able to define the word demand and precisely define those terms. You need to be ex to explain the law of demand verbally and using diagrams with analysis. You need to be able to explain the determinants of demand. Do you know what they are? If you do, cool, move on. If not, check the video below or check your textbook to make sure you know what the determinants of demand are. Not just what they are, but also explain what they mean. You need to be able to distinguish between a shift of a demand curve and a movement along the demand curve. You need to be able to explain and plot a linear demand function. Can you do that? If so, awesome. If not, stay up and study. You need to be able to, to use a demand function and a graph to analyze changes in demand. All right, so these are the review tips for demand. And of course, this one is going to be the review tips for supply. So likewise, you need to be able to define supply. Can you? Excellent. If not, learn it precisely. Go Quizlet crazy. Make sure you have precise command of these terms. You need to be, explained the, you need to be able to explain the law of supply verbally using diagrams with analysis. You need to be able to explain the determinants of supply, not just memorize what they are, but explain how they affect the supply curve. You need to be able to distinguish between a shift of a supply curve and a movement along a supply curve. Can you? Excellent. Keep studying. If not, I mean, keep studying down the list. If not, make sure you figure out how to do this. Can you plot a linear supply function? Can you use a linear demand function and a graph to analyze changes in supply? And this gets to the biggest part of all. Is like, do you understand the basic supply and demand diagram? If not, check the description box below. It is there. It is your friend. It is there to help you understand how these two very, very important fundamental concepts of economics work. Well, there you have it, my friends. Those are the review tips for demand and supply. If you can do all of these things, go to bed. You are ready for the exam tomorrow. If not, stay up and study. And to help you out, you can check the links below. I hope you found this video to be helpful and good luck tomorrow or whenever it is you might be taking your assessment. All right, my friends, take care of one, take care of one another. Be good to yourself too. And we'll talk to you in a bit.